Assalamualaikum everyone. Assalamualaikum. So today we'll be making our mystery dish is the chickpea chaat. Um, and it's the elchi chickpea chaat. So it's not your typical chaat. Um, our chaat is a combination of chickpeas, chero, sev. So this adds the crunch to it. Our, um, our chaat masala powder, which is um, a combination of chaat masala and some spice and our in-house uh, tamarind chutney that we make in-house. So it's a, it's a bit stronger than what you get at, um, at other Indian restaurants. Um, and uh, we also have uh, a spiced yogurt. So the dish in, as a whole has a lot of flavor, crunch, um, a, a lot of stuff going on um, in one bowl and it's, it's vegetarian friendly. So. It appeals to a lot of customers. So the beauty of chaat is just that you can pretty much add um, anything that you like in the base of the bowl. So we've started with chickpeas, but we also have a samosa chaat. We created a masala potato chaat. So that's the, if you've been here, we have a masala potato that we wrap in a paratha that's become quite popular. and. Um, it's the it's our mom's recipe, um, her masala batita recipe. <laughs> you know, it's a stuff that always happens whenever we have mishkaki. There's the masala batita. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> and so um, we use that also as our base, and then top it with all of these ingredients and the vegetables. The silver fridge. Um, so we're gonna start with putting in our chaat masala powder. And so chaat masala you can get at any grocery store that has an international aisle. Um, this is a little bit spicy. We've added some chili to it. So we're just gonna do a couple teaspoons of well, one eighth teaspoon. Um, so let's say about a quarter teaspoon would suffice. So you just mix that in a little bit and then it'll mix further once we put in our, our sauces. So we're going to uh, be pretty generous with our sauces. Chaat is usually very saucy um, and, uh, and you want it to be consistent in, in that. So there you have that. And then we've also... Um, so we're just adding, like, we just did a drizzle of the tamarind chutney, so maybe about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of our yogurt. I would say, yeah, and then you want to, you, um, it's sort of like the measurements are, are uh, loose, um, because you want to make it uh, sa saucy, so yeah. depending on your preference, right? And then we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of our mint chutney. This is just, this is um, a thickened mint chutney um, that um, we've diluted a little bit so that the chat does become a bit more watery. So two tablespoons of that. And then we just mix it up. And then we'll add our vegetables. Uh, yeah, our yogurt has um, a few spices, so we we usually put a little bit of salt, cumin, and uh, 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 what is it? Chili powder, um, and uh, to spice it up a little bit. But you you can use plain yogurt. You can skip the chili powder if you like. We'll add some tomatoes. So uh, also about a tablespoon. I'm taking about half of this because we'll need more towards the end. Diced cucumber. Uh, we like to dice our vegetables quite small. <laughs> uh, we're pretty particular about that. And uh, the reason is, is just that you want to be able to taste it without it um, overpowering. overpowering your food. You want it to, this is just red onion that I'm putting in. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier to work with. And then we're just going to mix that in. So now that we have like a, it's it's um it's a pretty full bowl as it is, and we have a few more layers to do. 
if you find that you know you want this to be a little bit more watery um, you need more sauce in here you can give it a try see how you like it just just by trying a bite of this and um, adding as as you feel so if you want it sweeter more tamarind a little bit more spice um, even just just water could um, could make it a little bit more uh, saucy so then we'll add our chiro and so this is just uh, what we call a Indian trail mix um, there's in this blend we have peanuts and some raisins and the raisins are a really nice touch to add some sweetness to it and so we'll just do uh, three tablespoons of the chair roll and then we have some sieve the sieve is um is basically chickpeas we like to say it's like hickory sticks um but made with chickpeas <laughs> um we're actually sorry missed a step we're gonna put in uh, more yogurt um just to uh even it out and so a, a pretty thick drizzle is needed between the two crunchy layers so about what like a maybe two table? tablespoons okay yeah and then our sieve oops not the neatest person in the kitchen okay and then that's enough sieves so then we'll just add in the rest of our vegetables um typically chat doesn't i mean we're, we're finding that chat typically doesn't have a lot of vegetables but um we like how it works with with the ingredients in the in the meal and so um we usually add uh, all of these vegetables in our chat in house and we get good responses in fact we even get people asking for extra vegetables in their chat it, it gives it a nice crunch and freshness to to the chat okay and now just a final drizzle of your your yogurt and really this is just it adds some more sauce, but it's also for presentation. <laughs> and there you have it. That's it.